Hello everyone and welcome back to Overwatch 101. This is a series where I try to help console players get a little bit better at the game. That's not to say we're bad, right? That's not to say that there aren't really, really good console Overwatch players because there are, right? But the, you know, the pro scene is on PC. They have a little bit easier time aiming, right? It's a lot easier to aim. They have better aim. Whatever the case may be, console players kind of get left in the dust when it comes to the pro scene. But that's okay because we're all here to help one another get better, right? We have to look out for one another. So today, we are on Numbani, right? Numbani is quite a beautiful place. It's quite an interesting looking land. I don't know about you guys, but it reminds me of maybe like Wakanda, where we would see Black Panther, right? From the Marvel Universe. I think it's a really cool little nod to that in a way. Uh, it's a very technologically advanced society in Africa. So, I mean, it immediately screams Wakanda to me, which I think is really cool. But let's get back to the game. All right, <clears throat> you have three ways to leave your spawn room, right? You've got the middle way, you've got the left way, and the right way. All right, the right way I don't recommend, right? You can, but I wouldn't recommend this because it's a little bit easier for their snipers if they do happen to be set up this far, which would be suicide. But they might be. They might have all kinds of nasty things over here. It's a little bit easier for them to spam into you right there. And the same goes for the middle way. It's also really easy for them to do all kinds of nasty stuff to you here. However, the left way provides a lot of cover. The left way is the way I like to go out the most. Yeah, there is a, an edge over here, but you are a, a ways away from it, so you really don't have to worry about being booped by a Lucio uh, that far, I wouldn't think, right? But when you come out, I would just check that left flank real quick, because I've seen Bastions do stupid stuff, right, where they'll just set up right here, and they'll get a lot of kills, of course, they'll die immediately to a good team, and then the defending team will be a man down. So, defending teams hate bastions that do that crap, right? But, right, you always want to check your corners when you're coming out. But, we move with our team, and we're going to come straight through here and up these stairs. Now, the reason we're doing this is because we want to grab the high ground, right? The high ground is really nice to have in this middle area for just coming right here on this street. A lot of defenders will be up this far trying to do damage right now in my opinion this is crazy this is just way too far okay but you will see it okay and if you grab this high ground it's a lot easier to deal with that aggression from up here and quick tip every hero can make this jump right here every hero can make that jump right so this is really nice for flankers it's really nice for tanks. It's really nice for every hero to just be able to make that jump. And then you've got this high ground, and this is even better, right? Because this gives you an even better look at what's around the corner, right? Maybe they've got some snipers up there, over there. Um, but I'm going to show you, though, where you want to be moving to get to the objective. You are eventually going to have to jump down from here, but maybe you've gotten a few pickoffs, so maybe you feel a little bit more confident about doing so. Now, I'm going to show you where you don't want to go. You do not want to go, even though there is the nice cover of this bus, right? You still don't want to go right down Main Street. This is a last resort, and this is a more expert way to go. Because first of all, you're in the low ground, right? They could have snipers up there just pot-shotting into the group, and then you're dead, right? So we don't want that. I've got to turn headshots only on, so I took a little bit of damage there. But you don't want to be down here, right? This is just too much of a low ground versus their high ground, and they have even worse high grounds to take to deal with this area. So this is like the kill box, man. You do not want to be down here. This is really bad place to be. You also do not want to move through this room right here, this middle room. You don't want to move through here because even though there is a nice juicy health pack, this is just too closed in of a space. You really don't have anywhere to go, right? This is also kind of a kill box. Now, you might be able to farm that health pack right there if you've got a Sombra, which is nice. But if you don't, then, well, this is just not a great place to be because they could take the high ground back there. They'll have a high ground right here. They'll have high ground on the point. They'll have high ground up there. They could have high ground in a lot of different ways to deal with you coming through here. So I don't like coming through here. It's just too closed in. I don't like it. It's maybe okay for flankers, but I personally don't like it. Now, up and to the left. This is where pretty much everyone goes. This is where the standard pros go. This is where you see everyone go, is up these stairs to grab this high ground, right? Now, most defenses are going to be right there, okay? But you know what? That's fine. That's the natural state of the game. That's where they should be, 
okay? You just have to meet them with aggression. You just have to fight it out, okay? You just have to be aggressive, all right? Because if you can push them back, if you can take this high ground, this is amazing. This is the best spot in the entire game up here, okay? Not in the entire game, excuse me. This is the best spot on the entire map is up here, okay? You can see across to where the snipers maybe used to be or still are, okay? You can see across for dangers there. You can see down onto the payload. You can see where they're going to be coming from, from spawn way over there. You can see over here really well. Like, you can just see all kinds of threats from this high ground. This is the best place to be on this map. So you absolutely want to fight your way up here and take this. Now be aware, people can be really sneaky and hide right here, right? Like bastions can hide right here and do all kinds of nasty things. So if you're going to go this way, you do have to be aware of that corner and check your threats. Now once you're up here, um, you want to get as many pickoffs as you can before you jump down. Because when you jump down, okay, there could be threats in there, right? There usually are. There can be threats over there right over in that corner there can be threats over there so when you jump down there can be all kinds of threats to attack you once you do so you definitely want to survey the land from up there before you jump down okay you don't want to just jump into the kill box so when i'm up here when i first come through this door i'm going to take a lay of the land the first thing i'm going to look at is straight ahead of me second thing i'm going to look at is straight across from me over there then i'm going to move over here and check that area, right? Then I'm going to come over here and check this room in here because some metras love to be in here, right? I'm going to check in here. Then once I'm done there, I'm either going to move down, checking that area right there first, okay? Or an even better thing to do is to come across here to move through and to take this high ground, right? Now, yeah, we are taking a lot of time off the clock away from the objective, but... This is also a really nice high ground to have because now you can spot the threats over there, you can spot them down there, and you can spot them in there, okay? And then from here, you can jump down, okay, and see all your threats from here, okay? And this is where you just fight it out. Now, if you have the high ground, you can pretty much jump down from wherever you like, okay? You want to do the option that takes the least amount of time, but is also the safest, okay? And that is going to vary from game to game. That comes down to personal judgment at that point, okay? But that is the best way to go about it, okay? <clears throat> now, you can go all the way around. You can come from over there, and that's okay. Okay, this is an okay way to go. This is the next best way to go, because you have a ton of cover to protect you from any incoming fire when you're over here, okay? But when you get this far... Number one threats you have to watch for are up there, okay? And then when you get this close, you just have to fight it out and be aggressive, right? Check your corners, check in there, check up there, and then check over there. And then maybe you can grab your objective, okay? Check in there, right? There's lots of ways to have to check for Noombani. Noombani has lots of little nooks and crannies. But taking the high ground is the best way to deal with that. Let's say we grab the payload, right? Let's say we did our job. Our new spawn will be through there. We'll be coming out that door. So... We're going to move along, okay? And this is just basic payload stuff. I'm just going to tell you where the threats are going to be, okay? So that you can be aware. All right, defense is definitely going to be right there, okay? Now, some would say that that is too close, but defenses don't like to let them get past that point. And in the defensive video, we'll cover why that is, okay? But let's just move the payload. When we see the defense there, we just have to fight it out. We just have to be aggressive, right? There's a little flank right here where your attackers can take to go around, okay, which is nice. You just have to fight it out and be aggressive, right? You want them in that low ground right there, right? You want them there because then they're easier to get headshots on. They're easier to intimidate, <clears throat> okay? And we'll have the advantage up here. And then we eventually can move on. Now, you're going to want to watch for threats that way and up there, okay? There can be quite a few threats up there. Widowmakers and Hanzos can do really mean things up there. All right, Bastions can be sneaky and set up there. You do have to watch for your threats, okay? There is an area over here, right? With a big health pack, which is nice, but this is dangerous because it's very close to the edge, so I don't really like to come over here too often unless I have to. Plus, it's a low ground, so I would avoid this area unless you can absolutely help it, all right? Just stick with the payload and move it. But just be aware of flankers that can go around up there and down here. Because they can do that. So you just have to keep a vigilant eye. right? Make sure there's nobody over there. Check this inside area. right? This is where a lot of the flankers like to go in. 
up there is a very dangerous area. However, you will most likely not see the entire team up there. All right? It's too far from the payload. It's just too far away for them. They don't like to be up there. But you will see a couple of heroes up there, right? Maybe they're DPS. Maybe a Junkrat, right? Maybe a Hanzo just spamming into your team. You will see danger up there. But most of the team will be right here, okay? So you just have to fight it out. You just have to be aggressive because your checkpoint is right there, right? This is what you want. This is pay dirt, right? Just call out those threats that are up there and that are very dangerous, okay? Just call them out. Let your DPS heroes deal with that in whatever way they see fit, okay? Protect your healers and get this checkpoint. Now comes the nightmare of Numbani, okay? This is the worst part of Numbani, and it shares this kind of notoriety with Dorado. This last part is one of the worst parts in the entire game, okay? Pushing the payload up this hill, okay? And the reason it's a nightmare is, number one, because they can easily get up there, from, an, from a door that's over there on their side. They can just go upstairs and around and behind everyone. So that's not good. But you really can't do anything about it. You just have to push the payload. Just have someone keeping a vigilant eye behind you. McCree's love to just jump down in high noon and then everybody's dead, right? There's really not much you can do about it. But you just have to keep a watchful eye. If a McCree does that, you just turn around and you shield and you pray that your other tank helps fend off the attackers from behind, right? That's really all you can do because you have to protect your team from that high noon. You just have to keep a watchful eye behind you, okay, when you're pushing up this hill. Now, once you have gotten to this bend in the road, <clears throat> this is where you're going to see a lot of aggression, right? And a lot of it is going to come from in there, in that big health pack room, right? This is an okay place for the defense to be. This is not an optimal place for them to hold, right? This isn't going to be where they're all at. But you are going to see really nasty flanker, flankers like Bastion, Torbjorn, things like that. Symmetras love to be over here doing nasty, naughty things, taking the attacking team by surprise. You're just going to see stuff in that corner, and you're going to see your major aggression front over here, okay? So you just have to keep a watchful eye. Tell your team, oh man, we got a Bastion to the left. Let's go ahead and take care of that so that he can't be a problem you know, later on, so on and so forth, all right? You might see a little bit of aggression from up there and from down there, but not too much. You're not going to see too much from that area. It's mostly going to be to your right and to your left, okay? Mostly. You might see a little bit of stuff, a little bit of aggression in here. Um, I will admit, Symmetras love to use this area as well for their shield generators, their teleporters. They love to use this little room. Okay, so be aware of that. If you hear her set it up, I would just go ahead and do a quick dummy check in this room just to be sure that it's not in here. All right, when you move around this corner, you have to be very careful of that high ground. This is super dangerous. Reapers love to just, from way back here, just teleport up there where he can't easily be seen and then just jump into your team and start doing really bad, naughty things, especially if he has ulti. So, when you're moving through here, you absolutely have to keep a watchful eye on that area. Absolutely, because if you don't, it will punish you, okay? All right, we're gonna keep moving forward, being aggressive, fighting for the land that we want, okay? Now, this area can be pretty dangerous, okay? It can be. Um. But hopefully at this point, you've got them relatively staggered. They're just going to be flooding out of spawn at this point to, to hold right here, right? They want to hold right at this line, okay? So this is where you just have to be aggressive. Although, the number one thing I see, okay, and it's because they have so much cover to move without, the in, without us being able to see them, they'll go from spawn and go around to their left, our right, and they'll come out right here, okay? And this is a really bad place for surprise attacks to come from. Reapers, Bastions, Symmetras, whatever the case may be, you cannot let them get in behind you. So if you're fighting through this hallway, if you're fighting with aggression, you're fighting, you know, for your land, you still have to keep a watchful eye on what's going on to your right, okay? All kinds of wicked things can be going on up here. Believe it or not, you also have to watch up there in the foliage, all right? Bastions and Hanzos and things, they can actually hide pretty well up there without you even seeing them. So you do have to keep a watchful eye up there in the foliage. Make sure that there's no danger up there as well, okay? The right is going to be a big place to watch out for your big threats, okay? Now, if the threats decide, like a Bastion, to set up down the street, 
to just use the payload for cover, right? Just hide behind the payload and move it. Because eventually he's going to have to get on this payload, okay? Now, if he's set up over there, right? If he's set up over here, you just have to call out that threat, right? And it might not be a Bastion. It might be a Symmetra, right? Ready to pounce. You just have to watch out for that, okay? Just have to call out your threats so that your team can deal with that. And then the rest of it should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. The rest of it is just fight it out. Okay, they're going to come flooding out through those spawns. They're going to come flooding out here to try to contest. You just have to be aggressive and fight it out, okay? You have to tell them no. You have to be proactive. You have to start damaging them maybe even before they leave spawn, right? Get some damage on them early. Don't wait for them to start contesting to do damage. All right. The Numbani Heritage Museum. Hopefully we'll be seeing some Doomfist stuff here uh, sooner rather than later. But maybe that's for another video. This has been Numbani Attack. As I said before, payload is pretty basic. You just call out your threats and move with your team on the payload. But you'd be surprised how many teams don't understand that concept. <laughs> it's interesting. But um, once again, maybe that's for another video. I hope you've enjoyed Numbani Attack. This has been Overwatch 101 signing off. Hello.